What up, 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 world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. Want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? And today we got a reaction video. Um, well, just a reaction. Well, it is a video, technically. Well, we got a reaction on uh, Drake, uh, certified lover boy and Kanye West Donda and I'm not more so doing like a versus reaction like who's better because um I think I think I think um it was just something good for the culture I think Diddy said something like that too where it was um and ultimately I don't think they I might I don't know they might not hate each other as much as as much as we think dog because to me, just sitting back, just looking at how everything played out, it seemed like a, like y'all, I mean, they worked off each other for real. I mean, if you want to be technical, the hype around both of them, unless they was beefing, um, it wouldn't have been hyped up. I mean, the albums, the anticipation for them would have been there, I think, a little bit, but I, I these ain't neither one of their best albums. That's what I would say. You know, I feel like um, in a lot of ways they were holding back because they want to gauge and see what the next nigga might do. But then again, it's just seeing how their numbers did what they did. Like, y'all got to be partners or teammates to, to finesse the game like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they worked it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Going back and forth on social media, posting addresses, you know what I'm saying? Leaking uh leaking diss tracks and you know, um I will say Drake is one surgical motherfucker though. I will say that. Cause I think right when Kanye thought he had him, <laughs> Drake dropped that motherfucking that diss track. Which was, which was, you could, only reason why I'll say he was surgical with it and I know it had to make an impact is because you get consequence dropping a diss track. It had to be a direct response to him exposing that, you know what I'm saying? Which just even more jumped up the numbers, you know what I'm saying? You know, with both of them doing, doing silent numbers, I don't, I, to me personally, um, I can't really, I, I ain't really went back and re-listened to, to him outside of when I was trying to analyze and see, like, all right, I, I, to me, it was like, you got just classic Drake and classic Kanye with a little gospel on Kanye's end. I mean, I think it was good for, you know, <clears throat> you get one that's, that's going to be like the, the, get the vibe right party and then you get the one that you go to church that Sunday after you got done twerking all that all night in the club type shit, you know? So I think it's like give you a nice balance. But um <clears throat> outside of that, I feel like uh yeah, I feel like it was a super finesse, if anything. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't get the best we didn't get their best foot forward. And it was because they were trying to be so surgical and they every move that they made, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Extended rollouts and, and things like that, you know, just just a bunch of extras, you feel me? And I don't know what's going on between these two. It's like, damn, did Drake smash Kim? You know what I'm saying? Like, allegedly, you know, because it just seemed like, like they got like this little nagging ass few that they just stick with and go at it like you know um i'm not gonna give y'all my favorite songs on any of the albums because i really don't know the names um of the songs i listen to um they was i mean i don't know man because it was just you know like to anticipate an album dropping for three four years or how many every years it was um and then you get you get a whole summer jam type mixtape, you know, like a DJ Clue type mixtape where you get a bunch of artists on a bunch of different tracks together. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I feel like it ain't, I don't want to say it's like, it's like rounding out being over for, you know, this 
these guys <clears throat> because you know they both talented. Drake got bars. Uh, he can sing. Kanye got bars. He can sing. Well, I mean, as far as they what they produce in music, you know, I don't know if they could really hold a note without you know the mechanics of uh, you know nice studio. But um, yeah, I just feel like you know the anticipation and the hype to me the music wasn't there for it you know but it did keep me in it's like i'm excited about it i'm hyped like oh what are you gonna say next you know what i'm saying because we sure couldn't get shit out of the other toronto nigga when he was battling you know but um <clears throat> yeah i think i think i think this these albums didn't change like it didn't add to or take away from what they didn't already accomplish and who they are in the game. If anything, I think it should be more pressure on the next projects that they drop. And hopefully they not basing it off of when he going to drop in, you know, cause it was just a numbers game, you know? And, um, yeah, I mean, Drake, Drake know how to play them number games. Kanye do too. So it's just one of those, we see may the best man win, you know. I will say that Kanye diss track, you know, with Andre 3000, I feel like, you know, um, I feel like Kanye should have had that on the album. And I don't think you should have been scared to put it on the album, you know. But I get it. I feel like you was trying, I feel like Kanye was trying to get the vibes of, he just be getting picked on by Drake type shit. And then you come across this this album or this song, you know, but you get an Andre 3000, you know, verse, and you don't put it out. Nigga, I wouldn't get, I mean, you know how many times we done heard Kanye on an album just just make whatever noise. You mean tell me? He couldn't put something hard together where he just let Andre 3000 just have his verse. Like, let that be, like, just his own track by itself. You ain't even, you could have cut your shit off, you know? Um, I don't know. I just think, <clears throat> I think uh, it's, a, it's a good day to be a part of hip-hop. But neither one of these are the albums of the year. Yeah, they got good numbers first week, second week, shit like that, you know? <clears throat> but yeah, I don't see him uh, taking any of the of the crowns of, you know. Yeah, they 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 not they oh yeah they not fucking with Nas album. I would say yeah. Um, I don't know who else got a worthy enough album that then came out where it was like uh, you know, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Big M Dog said, what's the deal? Do you think Drake got a better album than Donda? I mean, than Kanye? Did we get finesse as far as the world, as far as how they, you know, painted this picture of this beef and start getting people want to go back and forth between albums to, to judge who's the better one? You know, I mean, at the end of the day, they win, both of them. Shit, I think we all win, being able to, you know, not be anticipating some albums for two, three years anyway. Um, and just got enjoyable music all the way around, because um, no matter what side you choose, uh, you would be a hater to say that the music wasn't quality. You know, yeah, it might, some stuff might have sound like some, you know, uh, what was that one Drake shit? Uh, before you knew it, you were lost or whatever that shit called. I don't know. <laughs> that sounded like a Drake album. But yeah, you know, or listening to one of uh, Kanye's uh, previous albums. You know, like some of the music was repetitive. It was, you know, to certain standards. You know, their standards as far as who they, who they are and who they have been. Now, I would um, say the real test would be the next projects again. Um, that way we can see uh, what type of um, 
elevation you can take, you know. I mean, I guess it's 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 it's, it's kind of unfair in certain cases because you know you guys start off doing your thing and then y'all climb to this top tier and then we still setting expectations on y'all, you know, similar to what Brian and all them niggas go through, you know. But at the end of the day, that's what you wanted. You wanted to be great, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know, I know. Drake ain't out here just trying to be the biggest Toronto artist, you know. I know he want to be bigger than. I mean, it's only what it's only a, a, a certain amount that could even be on his level as far as putting Toronto on the map. I think it's just him and Tory, you know. So he ain't got to worry about that spot being taken, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> you got these young dudes that's coming out that's they spit, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about the ones that's here today, going tomorrow, you know, so, yeah, I'm interested to see how these guys that's, you know, pushing their 50s and 40s, how they, how they, you know, transcend with time, you know, um, yeah, was y'all excited about the, the uh, Jay-Z verses on either one of them, um, I think, I think the Jay-Z verse, um, I think it was real, on, on Donda, I think that shit was real, like you always said, I'm your big brother. So I think he 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 really son Kanye in a way as far as just like, hey, come back over here. But you know, at the end of the day, I don't know, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I just I wanted to do a reaction on it. I had to. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Make sure you protect yourself. Protect your people. And uh, always protect your peace. Peace.